Now that we have learned the navigation station, it is time for us to learn the internal operations station. Go ahead and move your mouse over to the blue icon that's in the very middle part of your screen. After you click this, like before, we're going to click Access Terminal. This will now ask us to enter our full name. Pause your tape until you're done entering your name, and afterwards hit OK. Now that we have logged in, we're going to move up to our menu again. Remember, our menu is at the very top right. We move our mouse up to the very top right, and now we're going to click Cargo Control. When we click Cargo Control, our screen should change to look something like this. Now, as the right wing officer, you are also in charge of the ship's cargo bay. The cargo bay is like a giant storage unit that's on our ship that carries everything that we might need while we're in space. Over here is a list of everything that's on our ships and in our cargo bay. Now, sometimes, officers may request that we transfer some stuff from the cargo bay to other parts of the ship. To do this, you would just click on the parts that they ask you to move. Let's say, for example, that our security officers need us to move 10 pipes to the weapons bay. So we're going to come over here, we're going to click Pipes, and when we click it one time, you see that Pipes comes over here to the Ready Cargo. Over by Pipes, we see 1. That 1 indicates how many pipes that we're sending, but we want to send 10, not 1. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click Pipes 9 more times. We see that Pipes is now 10, and we're ready to send those pipes to Weapons Bay. Now let's say that the uh, security officers also tell us that they need two more explosives. So we'll click uh, Explosives. Uh oh, it looks like I accidentally clicked Explosives three times instead of two. To take a part away, just go ahead and click on it one more time over here in the Ready Cargo. When we do this, we see that the explosives go back down to two. We're now ready to send this to the car uh, Weapons Bay. All we have to do is click Weapons Bay down here. When we do this, we see that all the uh, items start to move. If you have any questions about the screen, please raise your hand and ask a staff member. Otherwise, move your mouse up to the very top right and click Shuttle Bay Control. This screen is how we control our shuttle bay. Now the Voyager is big enough that it houses two small shuttles. These shuttles can be uh, used to go places where the Voyager can't. Now the shuttles have their individual pilots and crew that will take care of them. So we typically want to call down there, uh, what you would tell your communications officer to make an internal call down to Shuttle Bay, and uh, you can talk to them that way, and tell these guys that we want them to get on our ship so that we can launch them. After we've told them that we want them to get on the ship, we need to decide what cargo we're going to send with them. Sometimes we don't want to send any cargo at all, and that's okay. But there may be the rare occasion where we need to send some of our ship's cargo to the shuttle so that it can be dropped off at another place. For example, let's say that we need to add three coolant injectors. So I'll click coolant injectors over here. First, I must select a shuttle that I want to launch. I'm going to choose shuttle alpha, which is the one on the right, or say left-hand side. After I select the shuttle alpha, I'm going to click move to shuttle. I click it three times. We see that three coolant injectors have moved to shuttle alpha. Now, it's important to know that that doesn't move instantly. That's just the order for it to move, so a cargo officer will move that down. It typically takes anywhere from uh, one to three minutes to actually get all the parts down there. Now, we're in training mode right now, so we're not going to wait for that cargo officer to move all the stuff, but we're just going to go ahead and launch the shuttle. Now, uh, down here is a diagram of the shuttle bay. Right here we see shuttle alpha, and right over here is shuttle beta. Right here is a wall, as well as up there, and a wall right there and all along the border. Right here is the launching pad and over here are doors that will open for us to launch the shuttle. After we selected our shuttle, I'm going to hold down the forward button. The shuttle slowly moves forward, but I'm going to be careful to stop so I don't hit the wall right there. Afterwards, I'm going to hold down the star. It looks like the, uh, we're now on a set path. I'm going to hold down the forward thrusters now. and I'm quickly going to stop before I hit that wall right there. Now if you do hit the wall, you'll notice that it starts flashing collision detected. Now this is not a good thing. That could do damage to both the shuttle and our ship, so avoid that if possible. Now that our shuttle is on the circle launch pad, you see it says launch shuttle right here. So I'm going to click this launch shuttle button. When I click this, you'll see that the shuttle has now launched outside of our vessel. If you have any questions on the screen, please raise your hand and ask a staff member. 
Otherwise, move up here and click on your last screen, which says Transporters. Transporters are machines that break items apart, or even living beings, down to other atoms and then sends those atoms through a transmission wave to another transporter. This allows uh, these items to almost teleport in between places. All we have to do to use this fancy system is type in what we want to transport. Now it's important to know that we must be within transporter range to actually use our ship's transporters. Typically our ship has to be extremely close to uh, use our transporters, so we can't transport things from very far away. But when, oh, but when we are close enough, we can type in here what we want to transport. Now, I can transport things pretty much anywhere. I could transport things off of our ship, or I could transport things onto our ship. Let's say that there's some cargo that I want to transport on board our ship. To do this, I'm going to type in cargo. Now, the more specific you are, the higher chance you have of actually finding a target. So, I'm going to replace this cargo with USS Voyager Cargo. Now that's awfully specific, so I'm going to come over here to Destination, and I'm going to type in USS Voyager Cargo Bay. This destination is where I want to send the cargo. Now it's important to know that we don't always have to transport things to our ship. For example, if I wanted to move something from our ship, let's say a pizza, and I want to send that to Mars, I could type in Mars in the destination. Afterwards, I hit Scan. Now, when I hit scan, it's going to scan our entire ship to try to find some pizza to send to Mars. After it's found some pizza, it will appear in this box down here. Sometimes there will be more than one target, but it looks like there's only one pizza on our ship. So I'm going to drag these circles on top of that small circle. This is how we activate a transporter lock. After I drag these uh, two circles on top of this smaller circle, I must move my uh, mouse over here to this box. Now this box is where we actually energize the pizza and send it to Mars. So we're going to move our mouse to the very, 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 very bottom of the box. When we do that, we can slowly move our mouse up, and the yellow lines will start to appear. Now these yellow lines are how much energy we have, and we have to get them all the way up here to the very, very top. Now if you move too quickly, the energy lines will start to fall back down. So you have to move with the bars very slowly. It's important to remember this that it's better to go slow than it is to go fast. Practice this on your computer until you can get it to the very, very top. Once you get it to the very top, the transport will be complete and the pizza will be sent to Mars. If you have any questions about the station, please pause your tape and raise your hand. Otherwise, go ahead and move to your right to learn about your final station.